Hello everyone. Welcome to Solid Tutorials. In this video I will show you 5 new tips and tricks in Filmora. Very few people will know these 5 tips and tricks. And these tips and tracks will make you even better at video editing. The number one trick I'm going to show you is sound designing. You can see I have a video on the timeline. In which drops of water fall into the water. I will add sound effects in the background of this video. But we don't just have to add this sound effect, we have to apply it realistically. You can hear that the speed of this sound effect is very fast and it does not exactly match the water droplets in the video. So we have to adjust its speed. So I slow down its speed. Drag the end of the sound effect with Ctrl left click mouse to adjust the speed to your liking. So we've slowed it down a bit. I slowed down the sound a bit so that the sound sounds beautiful with a drop of water. So you just heard that we adjusted the speed of this sound effect. And we gave this sound effect a nice design which is very cool. Now you can hear the before and the after sound effect. At number 2 I show you a simple and attractive effect and that is the video enhancer effect. Drag and drop the video from the media to the timeline. Go to effects and click on it. Search within effects auto enhance effect. Drag and drop this effect into the track above the timeline. Set the duration of this effect according to the video below. With just such a simple trick, you can enhance your video. As you can see the effect on the video. At number 3 I teach you to detach audio from all the video clips on the timeline with one click. Like you can see a lot of video clips on my timeline. Usually when someone doesn't know, they detach some audio from each video clip in such a way that, right click on the single video clip. Then click on detach audio inside the audio. But let me tell you, it was a long way off. Let me show you how to detach audio from all video clips with one click. To do this, Select all the video clips on the timeline from which you want to detach the audio. And then right click on it. Go to audio. Click on detach audio inside the audio. So you can see that with one click I detach the audio from all the video clips. I use this trick often and it saves me time. In trick number 4, I show you how to blur a moving face or anything. For example, I have this video and I want to blur this man's face. To do this, select the video on the timeline and click on the motion tracking tool above the timeline. Apply this mark of the motion tracking tool to the place where you want to blur in the video. And then click the start tracking button. So it will track your relevant place. Sometimes tracking is missed in a video for a variety of reasons. In that case, move the playhead to where the tracking mark in the video has been missing. And split the video there and put the motion tracking tool icon back in the relevant place. And click the start tracking button. And again, these would mean that you have to spend for these processes. After tracking all the videos, open the box below the tracking button. Select the add a mosaic option inside this box. So a blur effect will be automatically added to the place you tracked in the video. You can adjust this effect by increasing or decreasing it. You can also change the types of blur effects in the mosaic effect settings. I select the third blur effect. Apply mosaic effect on the rest of the clips in this way. So 
So after we did that, we tracked the blur effect on a moving video. Let me show you a preview. The trick I show you at number 5 is a very useful trick. And that is to pick colors from image to text. For example, you are creating an intro and you drag the text. Do everything but you want to pick a color according to the logo. But there are default colors inside the text color, you don't find the color in it, or you can't point it out. So select the color picker tool next to the color box. Click on any color in the picture etc. So when you click, the same color will be applied to your text which is a great way to match the color of the text and logo. By the way, matching colors with default colors is sometimes very difficult. In that case, this tool will be very helpful for you. I hope you enjoy the video of these 5 tips and tricks. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video then give this video a thumbs up, plus subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon. But don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. See you soon. Peace.